Hi, I'm Gary. I've been a roofer now for 12 years, and today I'm going to show you different aspects of roofing. How to install felt drips. Where the felt is obviously six inches up on the wall, that is where we take our mineral felt drips. This is a four mil cabin sheet. It's a tip torch felt. Uh, again, it's a bitumous back of the felt. You just heat that and it will stick to the previous layers of felt. The gray, the gray stones, that's what they are on top, stuck to the other side of the felt. They're just uh, basically, it's called a capping sheet. Obviously this roof here is gonna be used as a balcony. So obviously we put our two layers of underlay down, which is two layers of two mil um, underlay felt. Um, we're gonna put some terrace tiles um, on the felt, which will, st will stick to the felt itself. Um, we're gonna put felt drips around the edges to make it look finished. Um, it's a thicker felt, it's a four mil felt that sticks in the corners, um, stops obviously splits happening in the felt um, and it finishes it off and it looks really nice and pretty. Um, when you put the felt um, close to the walls, again, uh, roughly six inches up, two coarser of bricks, which is obviously hidden by the previous felt, but we know how hard to go because our existing felt is there. Uh, with a batten, pull it down, scraper, keep on top so it keeps the weight down. So we're able to um, burn the felt. With this felt, we don't need to heat um, as much as the previous felt uh, because of the thicker felt. The bitumen at the back of the felt becomes very, very wet and hot, and, and so it makes it stickier, makes it more sticky to stick to the wall. Again, push right in the corner to keep it nice and tight to obviously stop any problems with the felt ripping in the corners. And we use the, the batten and the scraper to just heat that other side of the felt. Just push it down with your hand and it would stick to the existing felt. Push at the front to make sure it's stuck right down. If you don't want any water getting underneath our felt. And as a precaution, I'll just give it a little heat. And maybe just thumb it down again, just to make sure it's entirely stuck. And that's how to install a felt drip.